Hi, this is Ken Salvo from Ken's Horticultural Services and KelowanaGardens.com. Talking about basil today, it's one of the, the nicest treats you can have, I think, in the garden. Uh, it's great to make your own pesto every fall. It's a, just a wonderful addition to many, many different dishes. And basil is very easy to grow. It just needs warmth. It can't. It's not a cold crop. It doesn't like cool temperatures. It likes to be really warm. Grows quite easily. You can have a look at this here. This has all gone to, to seed now, and some people like to snap off these seed heads and just get rid of them. Uh, I, I, I did these many, many times this year early, early on to help to just keep them producing foliage because it's the leaves that I want. And uh, I got to a point where I just couldn't keep up. They just really, really want to go to seed. So we've left them now. They're going to seed. But we're just just preparing to harvest now. So we'll go through, cut these plants out. And we will remove every single leaf individually, just like this. Just take each leaf right off at the stem. And we put that into our, into our uh, blenders and make our pesto. And uh, we usually will make pesto into pans about two inches thick to a nice cake pan make many many of those filled with pesto and then what we do is we freeze it and then we cut it into cubes we get cubes about two inches by two inches and just put uh, one or two of those or a handful of those into a little baggies and freeze them we fill a big section of the freezer with these pesto cubes and we just grab them and use them whenever we need them we actually still have I think we just we're just about to harvest again and we're on our last couple cubes uh, from last year so it's been very successful uh, routine and plan on continuing doing that into the future but uh, basil as we know it's very useful and it's a great plant and uh, highly recommended so uh, stay tuned to colonagardens.com for all your gardening needs